Hello everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chris. If you're new here, we talk all about jackets from Arcteryx, Patagonia, Rab, and Heli Hansen, and Paca, and a couple other things here too along the way. Um, I have a ton of videos here on the channel. Please take some time, look around, dive in. Hopefully you'll find something that can help you out that you're interested in. Um, today's video, we're doing something kind of cool kind of a follow-up to the last video I did. The last video basically was some of my thoughts about um, these companies, um, you know, what makes them different, um, what I think about their products, just a personal, um, you know, opinion about, uh, you know, what I've learned over the last, you know, year or so doing all these videos from these products on different companies. Today, um, I want to kind of expand on that and talk more more about the specific pieces from each company that I really liked or kind of didn't like so much. All right. Um, now, I want to say straight out front that the products that I didn't like, it's just my own personal opinion. It's not that the products were garbage or junk, you know, or it fell apart. Um, no, it's just my own personal opinion. Um, a lot of times, um, they're just not products that I would use. Um, simply because, as I've said in a lot of my videos, I'm actually, I'm not a mountain climber, I'm not a skier, I'm not climbing glaciers. I do do some hiking. I love the outdoors. I own a landscape company. I build koi ponds and waterfalls. I'm outside all the time. I love being outside, <laughs> okay? Um, but I'm not just, uh, you know, into all these cold winter um, sports up in the mountains. So, um, but I do love these jackets, okay? They are really high quality jackets. And, you know, they keep me warm and dry and comfortable um, you know with whatever I'm doing so you know my, my little philosophy was you know if these jackets are designed to keep you warm and dry and comfortable in extreme conditions up in the mountains then I'm sure I'll be warm and dry and comfortable when I go out shopping or go to the mall or go you know to dinner or go here and there wherever so and they do and I love them you know so I done this whole channel I own close to 50 pieces from Arcteryx um, and I love this stuff um, honestly too, all these other jackets that I have been purchasing from uh, Heli Hansen Reb and Patagonia um, I am basically purchasing them doing a video about them and returning them um, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I own way too many jackets now than I can wear, and I can't afford to buy all these pieces. I mean, it would be ridiculously expensive. My wife would divorce me. I mean, <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm basically, you know, spending my money buying all these pieces doing my videos and returning them basically so I can keep this channel going and keep supplying you guys with as much information as I can. I mean obviously I do have some knowledge on all these pieces and you know these products that I can share with you so when I get a jacket from a different company you know I can see what it's all about and I want to share that with you. So that's my whole point. Um, okay, so anyway, today's video, um, yeah, I want to tell you, like I said, about some of the jackets that I really liked and some things that I didn't really like from these companies and why. So uh, we'll start off with, with my big one, all right, Arcteryx. Um, so like I said, I own close to 50 pieces from Arcteryx now, um, and I have them all. <laughs> I mean, I own them. Um, yeah, I've, I've bought quite a few of these things over the years and I would have to say that only recently within the last, you know, um, several months that I've been buying a lot of these pieces and sending them back just to do these videos that there have been a couple that didn't really hit me so much. Um, and again, it's not because they're bad pieces or garbage, it's just for what I do with them, they're maybe designed for a little more specific things that just 
I don't have a use for. Um, one was the Rethel uh, fleece. Um, nice piece. And it's a really kind of cool, a different type of fleece. I love Arteryx fleeces. So this one was a little different in the fact that it's a heavy, heavier weight piece, kind of similar to like a covert. Um, but it has more of a hard face uh, material on the outside, almost feeling like a denim, like a blue jeans kind of material. Um, but definitely a rougher, tougher, a little more durable material on the outside. Um, I mean, it's nice. It just wasn't what I liked, you know? Um, and also the fit on that was a regular fit. So it was a larger fitting. It was a looser fitting fleece. Um, some of my favorite fleeces from Arteryx are the, the Kyanite Lightweight, it used to be the Kyanite LT, and uh, definitely I wear that all the time, and the Coverts I love as well. Um, so, you know, they're a little more trimmer fitting pieces. This one was a little bigger, baggier. But again, it depends on your use. I think it's awesome that Arteryx made that because it is different than the others. And there's probably a lot of people that want that, but it just wasn't me. Um, so yeah, that was one of the pieces that I got that, you know, I really didn't hesitate sending back. I was like, this is nice, but I don't have a use for it. So. Um, that one, I would have to say um, two others, the Gamma Hybrid, um, eh, it just didn't really do much for me. It's a nice piece, well made, great design for its purpose, but for just for every day to wear, eh. Now I love the Gamma series. The Gamma MX has always been one of my favorite hard, uh, soft shells. And the Gamma SL is one of my favorite. I love that. I wear them all the time. The Gamma LT is a little more, um, a little heavier than the SL. It's, it's more specifically designed for high output activities. Um, you, you need to be sweating in that thing, I think, to, to really reap its benefits. Um, but the, the Gamma Hybrid, you know, I was kind of excited for it because I love all those other Gammas. This, the SL and the MX, I really, really like. They're amongst my favorite Arteryx jackets. And then when I got the Hybrid, I was like, yeah, this is nice. I see its point. I see what it's meant to do. It's just not really meant for me. Um, and the same goes with the Cerium Hybrid, okay? Amazing jacket. The design of that for high output activities is amazing, okay? It's a down jacket that has very breathable um, panels throughout it to help breathe. Um, awesome design, great for, you know, climbing in colder weather. I'm sure it would be an amazing jacket. Um, for me, I don't have a use for it. So for around town, I think it kind of looks a little funky, right? It's, it's part down panels and then down part, you know, f just a little, little weird. Um, awesome coat, just wasn't for me. Um, jackets that I love from Arteryx, you know, like I said, those couple fleeces I, I really, really like. Um, the Rush IS is a little older uh, Rush hard shell that has an Octoloft fleece lining inside of it. Super nice, super comfortable, warm, hard shell, waterproof, windproof. I love that coat. Um, that one I really like. I mean, the Sawyer hoodie has become one of my favorite jackets. Um, just feels great, looks good. I, I just awesome uh, soft shell. Um, and of course, the protons, the nuclei FL I love, um, and the Atom, right? The Atom LT, the Atom SL, the Atom AR, they're great pieces. In the winter, when it's cold, my Thorium and my old Cerium SV is an amazingly warm jacket. So, yeah.
all right? But in general, arteric stuff, you, you can't go wrong. Um, all right, let's go, let's go to Heli Hansen, all right? Um, the pieces that I've tried from Heli Hansen that I have really been impressed with and really liked, I'd have to say, originally I got, um, one of the first pieces I ever tried from them was the Cascade Shield Fleece. And as soon as I got that and put it on, I immediately really liked it. It fit great, it was soft, um, it was nice, warm, lightweight fleece, um, but it had a more um, durable, face um, fabric on the outside that was basically a little windproof and a little water resistant. So I thought it was really cool to have that fleece, soft fleece that has some windproof and waterproof qualities to it. So I really liked that, but I did end up sending it back. Um, and then later on, I ended up getting a, an Odin Pro Shield fleece jacket which is basically the same thing as the Cascade Shield, only with more bells and whistles, more zippers, more features, more, uh, more of a soft shell jacket. That's the, the, the fleece jacket, right? So, so the Cascade Shield was like just that typical fleece jacket, and then the Odin Pro Shield was that same fleece jacket on steroids. Right? Not so much heavier, but just more bells and whistles. A little longer, more of a soft shell jacket, um, adjustable hoods, uh, chest pockets, like all kinds of goodies. Really, really cool. The Verglass Polar Down jacket was probably the, one of the warmest jackets I've ever put on. Um, this thing was incredible and loaded with features. Um, really, really nice um, down insulated jacket, but it's super puffy. I mean, it's, it's a big puffy jacket, but super warm in extreme cold conditions. Um, and what didn't I like from them? Well, I can't say, you know, there was much that I didn't like. Um, the Verglass down insulator is just that um, middle of the road, kind of medium weight, um, you know, down insulated jacket. Um, it was really nice, but you know, every company makes that same kind of down insulated jacket. And this one, it was nice, but there was nothing really stand out about it that made me say, oh yeah, this one is so cool because it has this and these don't. Um, it was just pretty, just pretty much a basic jacket. Nice, you know, but nothing outstanding that made me say this thing is, you know, better than anything else. Um, the Verglass Hybrid Down Insulator, very cool jacket, um, but just wasn't for me. Um, I, you know, if you're a mountain climber, if you're doing these high output activities, this jacket is amazing. Um, a down insulated jacket with all these fleece panels for breathability all around it. Um, very cool. Again, just I don't do those activities, so it wasn't really for me. And the Banff insulated shell. Um, nice jacket. It's a design for skiing, um, and I'm sure it would be awesome for that. Um, and while I, I did like the jacket, I just, I'm not a skier. Um, and for everyday use, I think there's some other things that I would, you know, rather have. But it was, it was nice. It was definitely a cool jacket. And the Loki um, rainproof little hard shell, um, that I really liked. And that's a really, really popular piece from Heli Hansen, and I can see why. It's just a really lightweight kind of um, hard shell that's soft and, and just great for any kind of use. Um, just, uh, yeah, that, that one I, I liked as well. All right, so let's, let's move on here. Um, Patagonia, 
Patagonia has a ton of stuff. <laughs> We've done a ton of stuff. Um, there are one fleece. I really liked it. Um, nice fit, comfortable, soft, has a nice, a cool pattern, um, you know, texture to it. Um, definitely a more technical um, piece. But uh, that, was, that was really nice. I did like that a lot. The Granite Crest uh, hard shell was one of my favorite hard shells from Patagonia that I tested. Um, just a super uh, lightweight, but yet durable hard shell that's waterproof, windproof, lightweight, packable. It's got pit zips, it's got, it's got everything. Um, just, I just like that one uh, the best of all their hard shells. They make a Triolet hard shell, which is a Gore-Tex hard shell, 70 denier, um, amazing jacket. Definitely um, Patagonia's extreme conditions uh, hard shell. Um, awesome jacket, really well priced for what it is. Lots of bells and whistles on it. That was, that was really great. Um, the better sweater is basically a fleece from uh, Patagonia. It's a heavier weight fleece, very similar to like the covert cardigans and covert half zips and all that covert hoodies uh, from Arteryx. Um, but it is a little baggier fit. It's a little looser fit than the Arteryx coverts are. So I kind of like the coverts a little bit better than this better sweater, although the better sweater is an incredibly popular piece from Patagonia. Um, so um, it's probably, I believe, a little you know cheaper too than the Arteryx ones, but that's whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, it was nice, but I just didn't like it as much as the coverts from Arcteryx. And the down sweater um, is actually a down insulated jacket. Again, it's that mid-weight kind of jacket, like I was saying about the um, Verglas um, down insulator from Helly Hansen. That, that that jacket just didn't seem to have anything much more than any other jacket that made me say, you know, this was better. But this down sweater just hit me. Um, I really liked it, all right? Uh, it was, the outer face fabric on it is very, um, silky soft it's made from recycled fishing nets the whole jacket is just a more technical piece um, very popular from patagonia and definitely again i can see why um, great jacket i really liked it it felt great on it was comfortable it was warm um, i definitely like that the micro puff real quick is a synthetically insulated jacket that has a special kind of synthetic insulation that actually mimics down. That was a really nice, cool jacket as well because for its weight, it is extremely warm. So that was um, a, a really nice uh, piece as well. All right, um, yeah, so let's let's move on. Um, I think I, the Triolet, okay, too, let me mention the Triolet. The Triolet is the top of the line um, Gore-Tex hard shell from Patagonia, and that one is definitely made for extreme conditions up in the mountains, um, just the most durable, um, piece you know hard shell that they make and I mean that was it was impressive too it, all the bells and whistles that was a really nice piece all right um, from there let's hit Rab okay um, now Rab <laughs> Rab um, every one of their pieces that I have tried from them I haven't been disappointed with. I can't say that there was a jacket that I really didn't like. Um, again, the Cirrus uh, Flex 2.0 um, just wasn't for me. Nice jacket. Um, it's a down. It's a synthetically insulated jacket with fleece panels for breathability. Um, it was really cool. It just, again, I don't have much of a use for that. I'd rather just have a jacket without all the fleece panels that's just warm, right? Because what I'm doing, I'm not sweating in, okay? Um, the, uh, 
Borealis, I really liked. That was just a really nice, soft, flexible, lightweight, soft shell. Plain and simple. It's made for climbing. It has two chest pockets up high for climbing, um, but just a nice fitting, comfortable, lightweight, um, kind of wind resistant soft shell. Um, trim fitting, that was a nice piece. Um, the micro light downs, the infinity down jackets were really nice. Again, that medium um, weight down jacket, like the Patagonia down sweater, the um, Verglass um, insulator from Helly Hansen, the Ceriums from Arcteryx. It's got that middle weight, um, really nice. Um, the Rab, uh, you know, micro light downs. They do make one called the Infinity Down, which has a Gore-Tex Infinium fabric on the face um, to help re um, resist wind. Um, that that was a really a nice jacket. I was impressed by that. Um, the Latope Mountain Gore-Tex Pro Hard Shell, it's an awesome piece. Um, you know, again, extreme weather like the Triolet from Patagonia, um, loaded with um, features, just looks great. Really, really cool jacket. Um, the Kinetic Alpine 2.0 soft shell um, is a really nice soft shell jacket that's got some water resistance. Well, I mean, they're calling it waterproof and windproof, and it's breathable, it's stretchy, it's lightweight. That was a really, really nice uh, soft shell jacket. I actually bought one for my daughter who lives in Florida, um, you know, because it rains down there all the time. They have thunderstorms, it's hot, it's, you know, humid tropical weather um, and this was a lightweight breathable soft shell it's waterproof and she loves it she even uh, took it to Colorado on a trip with her um, that she wore it over like a sweater or light jacket when it was you know colder out and uh, she loves it and I was really impressed with it which is why I bought it for her um, the Zen Air Alpine um, was a really nice um, synthetically insulated jacket that's very breathable um, but that was a jacket that I got out of the package I put it on and I just was like wow this is really comfortable it just fits nice it feels great on so I really I really like that one a lot all right um, what did I not like from Rab not much <laughs> Not much. I really thought all their pieces have been really great. Like I said, the Sirius, Sirius uh, Flex 2.0 just wasn't for me. Um, the Vital Wind Shell is a very lightweight nylon shell, um, wind blocker type of jacket. Um, it was nice. It absolutely does its job. But it's just, again, it was one of those that just was not anything much different than, you know, the, the jackets that a bunch of other companies make. You know, the Squamish hoodie from Arcteryx or the Noden. Um, you know, the Houdini from Patagonia. Um, the Vital from uh, Rab. And there's, um, Helly Hansen makes one. I just can't think of it on top of my head. Um, but all very similar things. Nothing stood out about it. It did its job. It's a great jacket. If you bought this for to be a light nylon windbreaker, you're going to be happy with it. Um, you know, I have the Squamish hoodie from Arcteryx, and you know, I wouldn't need this otherwise. But nice. I mean, good jacket. Just nothing special right all right and uh, yeah I think other than that we just get into a PACA real quick um, PACA is a company I haven't done very much of yet but I'm looking to do more from them definitely they have they're a company that makes their products out of alpaca wool um, which is supposedly the warmest wool other than polar bear Okay, and I don't think you want to go out with a pair of shears and, you know, shear a polar bear. So um, <laughs> we'll, we'll stick with the alpaca. Um, but uh, I do have their hoodie, which is just a lightweight, like fleece, 
hoodie, um, very casual, but it just feels great. It's super soft like cashmere. It's silky soft. Um, it's very warm. Um, just a great casual piece, um, you know, to wear with anything you're doing. Any kind of, you know, outdoor mountain activities, you want a little lightweight fleece, this will do it. Um, just something casual, comfortable around the house, going around town, wearing it under, you know, a jacket, a little shell. This is, I really like this. So they have a um, heavier winter jacket that I was wanting to buy, um, but I found out that they're coming out with a new revised version of it for this fall. So I decided to wait. So I am eagerly awaiting that. I, I am definitely looking to purchase that. Um, I really want to try that jacket out and I'm, I'm you know, excited to see what it's all about. They, they make an incredible product. The alpaca wool is, like I said, super soft. It's very warm for its weight. Um, and it's also odor uh, resistant because alpaca fur um, naturally um, resists bacteria. And what's cool about the alpaca wool, if you think about where the alpacas live, like in the mountains, in the Andes Mountains in Peru, um, where these jackets originated from, um, they live in extreme conditions in these mountains where it can be hot during the day and then at night be extremely cold. So these alpacas have grown this wool <laughs> which adapts to these changing climates. So if you think about the extremes that these alpacas live in, in you know, hot during the day, cold at night, um, you can see the value of this wool in your jackets, okay? It helps to, you know, keep you extremely warm when it's really cold, but then when it's warmer out, you don't feel as hot in it. So it's actually pretty, pretty interesting, and I'm really anxious to try this stuff out a lot more. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember, for every one of these pieces that I've talked about here today, and a lot more, I have videos on each individual piece here on this channel, um, you know, breaking it down, explaining what it's all about, the different features, the way it fits, and how it layers with things. You know, we talk all about that stuff. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, you know, this enjoyed the video, gave you some little insights into things, and uh, please, you know, subscribe to the channel, take a look around, and hopefully we'll see you back again in another video. Just take care, have a great day, bye.